Hey you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back to another Project Life Process video. In this video, I'm still finishing up 2016. This is week 49. So I had this grand idea um, that I was going to type on some of my photos. Remember, I, if you watched my week 48, I talked about how I just printed out a ton of photos and I didn't have the chance or I didn't want to take the time actually to do the journaling um, at that time. So I thought that I would do it later. Anyways, I had this great idea that I've got this uh, typewriter ink that is white. So there's a black and a white on the same roll. And I tried it out with December Daily and it actually worked really well with a dark photo. It had to be like black or really, really dark. And so I saw some of the photos in the spread that were dark and I thought, okay, I'm going to be able to use them. And it turns out uh, the white was not working. And I don't know if it's just dried out. I tried to test it out and do a whole bunch of typing, but it wasn't working. So what I ended up doing is just scrapping that idea. And then I just went ahead and the black was working just fine. So I just went ahead and printed on that photo that was light. So anyway, it didn't work out for me. So the next thing that I'm doing is I have this journaling card and you saw that I had a card. I've used cards like this before. This actually came from um, lifecaptured.com and she's got some digital, digital products that you can use and this just happens to be one of them on one of her three by four products. I really like it. It just says this week and then it's got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday on it and then you can just write a really brief synopsis. I thought that that was a good way to be able to kind of share a little bits and um, pieces of what was going on during the week. Some of them talk about some of the photos I actually have pictures of but most of it really is just kind of a, a really fact based about what was going on during the week, like had lunch with so and so and, um, you know, stuff like that. So now I'm pulling out my favorite mega date stamp. I wanted to um, use that again. It's like I like if you've watched any of my other videos, you know, it's like one of my most favorite things. So I decided to use that. I'm using the Hero Arts Unicorn ink for that. And I just printed that directly onto the photo. I was really happy to see that photo that I stamped onto is a photo that I actually had printed at a lab. So I was happy to see that um, that ink went on great. Normally, um, I print at home and the photos are kind of sticky. So it was nice that um, it didn't smear, it didn't have any problem. It worked just great, even though it was a glossy photo. So now I'm working on a little bit of journaling. So I'm just trying to find more ways to tell more of the story from the week. I pulled over the stamp set from Allie Edwards. This was, um, I think it's called Little Moments or something like that. It was a stamp set that I used or excuse me, it's it was one of her story kit stamp sets that she had. It was kind of a while ago. It was probably from 2015, but it's really useful because it has all these numbers. So I just used it for um, one, two, and three, and then I added a little bit of journaling on there. I can't remember exactly what it says above the December, but um, it definitely was a story spark for some of the things that were happening in December that week. And now I'm pulling over my three by four stash from December daily. So I haven't yet put any of it away because I'm anticipating that I'm going to be using it for, you know, the rest of the spreads coming up here in December. And I'm looking for a card that would be good to kind of talk about currently what's going on or what was going on during that week. If you can see, I have all these little post-it notes around and I had, I wrote some things down like weeks ago during that week. And so I kind of stuck it on that page just as a way that I wouldn't forget. It was things like, um, one of the things my daughter's been doing, uh, my, you know, the work that my daughter started doing and just random things like that, things that I definitely want to highlight that feels, um, significant. So I found the back of one of the cards. It was kind of like a list. It actually had numbers and, and, and it had lines. You can see it's got the white and the gray. So I grabbed over this set from Allie Edwards. This was, I think, the very first um, 
story uh story kit set um stamp set that she had that she offered it was called prompts and i've used that for several things i really love that the um that the prompts are very bold and i i remembered because i'd used this currently stamp before that it said currently so i just kind of wanted to highlight um you know just the little bits and pieces that, that was going on this week then I'm um, I'm going to cut down this photo and you can see that what I ended up doing is I had a scrap piece of paper and I decided instead of using a full three by four card, I didn't need a full card because of the photo. I would just um, cut it down. I think I probably should do that a little bit more because I'm using cardstock. Um, so you know, that that's something that you can consider doing is maybe cutting a three by four card in half and then um, sticking, you know, sticking that photo just on the top part. So you're saving some cardstock. So then I just went ahead and added a stamp, um, the date stamp, and then just a little bit of journaling to that photo. So it is a quick and easy week. I love it when stuff like that happens and it comes together really quickly. Like I said, in the last two videos I did, it really helped having that prep work done, just having those photos in place. So I'm able to get these spreads done a lot quicker. So you can see that I'm just switching those cards around. I kind of wanted to split up all the white. So I just made that change and now I am complete. Anyway, you guys, that is the spread. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more Project Life process videos, just hit subscribe. All right, you guys, we will catch you in the next video. Bye.